Hello, I'm Ilan from Qtech. Today I want to show you how you can produce over 300 of these face shields a day using our rapid fire method and the precious plastic machines. Okay, so step one is to get some plastic and shred it to these flakes and then fill up your extruder. This is our sixth generation Keytech extruder uh, using professional parts and a coffee can. And with this, we can normally produce a 3D printing filament, but right now we uh, removed the nozzle and are now producing these big, fat, long stripes of plastic. half of these stripes which is going to be the munition for our injection machine. So these stripes are still smoking hot about uh, I don't know 140 degrees and now we can just put them in our injection machine. So now you take your mold, um, any mold will work. This here is the face shield mold that we got from Plastic Preneur, it's a professional mold and um, put it under your injection machine. And the advantage is, normally you would have to wait about seven to eight minutes uh, until all the plastic granulate uh, in here in the heating barrel is all heated up and melted. But this way, because we we're using our extruder, we can basically, well, um, we can basically just speed up the process a lot because the um, extruded um, munition was already very, very hot in the inside, about 135 degrees, so it doesn't have to heat up much in here. That way we can speed up our cycle, basically how many we can produce, how long it takes us for, to produce one of these things, to about two minutes if we're fast. Okay, so now it's in our mold. And while I open this, um, Johannes can already refill the injection machine uh, using new munition that we extrude. Like we always extrude it only minutes before we um, fill it in, so it's still hot. So to speed up the process even more, we designed these screws, which are basically just normal screws but we um, flex the sides of it so that even the eight millimeter screw fits into the designated place in the mold. And because it's like flat, um, you only need one wrench to fix it instead of two having to counter it with the other one. And this just speeds up the process even more. And because this is an eight millimeter screw instead of like a six millimeter one, um, it lasts a bit longer because if you're really making 300 a day, you're going to be uh, need, be needing like a screw set a day because um, the screws really um, are being hurt every time you open and close them. So now the last step is to just simply open the mold. And here you can see we have our new face shield frame uh, from recycled plastic from bottle caps. Um, it's always amazing to see what you can make with plastic waste using simple precious plastic machines. So now all you have to do is remove this, um, the leftovers from the injection. So once you've removed all the excess parts, all you have to do is um, mark it with the recycling symbol so uh, people know which uh, plastic you use. Uh, for that, we 3D printed a template and this way we can just use a simple editing and um, mark our frame. Next step is to use some of this Knopfloch gummy band. Uh, I don't know what it's in uh, English. Um, it's basically just an elastic band with many holes in it. And this way you can um, have it be adjustable. So the nurses can adjust the length of a band. And then you just use some thickened laminating foil and um, 
use a hole puncher, a simple European hole, hole puncher. And uh, you, here you need a specific distance, which you can just try out. Punch holes from both sides. Then put it over the designated places from the mold. It should fit tightly and you're done with the next face shield. And with about three to four people, our extruder and our injection machine, we managed to produce 300 in one single day uh, last week. Um, so you can really be fast with this rapid fire method. Thank <laughs> you. 